Black Metal Hails from Finland, this is Rauda Reviews and today we have a band from Finland, Azazel, Agrum Satanas Tecum, the third full album by this rather, how to say, ill-reputed band. The band that has been here for almost 30 years by now, but which is mostly known, I guess, around the world for its rather sad and comical... Uh, ways to perform at Steelfest a few years ago when the band was drunk and it became kind of a household joke of, of things. And then it was also featuring uh, featured in, in Finnish national television, twice in fact, just making the joke even worse. Now this is very much a band that is mostly focusing on the vocalist and founding member Lord Satanakia. But since past 10 years or so, it has been mostly uh, operated in terms of guitar works by this guy here, Mavrovos, who is doing guitars and, you know, songwriting. Then we also have some uh, guest vocalists and other people participating in the band. And there's this kind of old school thank you list by the lyrics. So in case you want to Try to spot familiar names, time to pause and zoom in for some interesting names right there. This is also dedicated to the band's other original member, Zaniaza, who wrote the last song on this one. He uh, already died a few years ago, rest in peace. But this is a nice dedication to his memory. But like I said, the band has been here for almost 30 years, since 1992, and it became this kind of a cult name with its 1993 demo, well, another maybe rehearsal tapes, and of course 1996, uh, The Night of Satanakia EP. But since then, I mean, it took quite a while before the band was actually, so to speak, back in the game. It was actually until 2012 when the first album came out, and since then the band has been somewhat more active, and now it's the third album, Aikum Satanas Tekum, which is 35 minutes of black metal. Now, this is the kind of a very basic second wave black metal thing, mostly mid tempo, but with a little bit faster parts. Uh, very riff oriented and riff driven music, and not so much, you know, gimmicks or weird things. This is going like back to basics with its very, very strong riffs, in my opinion. Mostly operating rather slower pace compared to bands such as, you know, Marduk and the like. This one is something that either, you know, perishes or survives with its riffs. That is, these riffs which sometimes remind me of other Finnish names such as Barathrum and Diaboli. Well, it's actually very, very enjoyable to listen to. Now, Lord Satanake, if you have ever heard him speak, um, well, he has this very much a kind of a drunken tone. And... Um, He's kind of a borderline alcoholic, not maybe even borderline, but just alcoholic and his way to speak is, well, kind of a unique. And he sounds like he's almost always drunk. So expecting him to do vocals were something like, I was like, ah, maybe it's going to be bad. But in fact, he does quite good job here. And then there are also these uh, guest vocals which complement the whole album nicely. And the result is a good album. But mostly it's because good riffs. These riffs and the whole compositions all in all make this album rather interesting and very, very listenable. It's almost like a time trip to early 90s. As if Lord Satanakia never, you know, stepped away from away from the 1990s kind of a music scene. And of course, he's pretty much inspired by the older bands. I guess he's, based on what he has said on, on interviews, that is, basically, it seems like he never left the 1990s. He's in the 90s and 80s, and even though he's not making the music, it almost feels like, you know, he's putting Azazel back to the 90s mold, if you will. And that is a good thing, mind you. Now, the sound, the old production on this album is, in my opinion, very, very fitting for the music. It's not too clean, it's not too rough, it's not too barbaric or raw or whatever, dirty. It's just fitting. It's not clean or anything like that, but kind of a pro in a somewhat dirty ways. And those vocals just fit the theme here very well. So uh, even even though Azazel could be quite a disastrous experience on stage, this album proves that these guys know what they're doing, especially the uh, composer 
is definitely you know on the top of his game then again he also did good job with his other band Riano so what else really to expect from him than quality in my opinion whatever you think about Azazel prior this album this is something that you should be listening to if you're into black metal in the first place so maybe the vocalist is goofy alcoholic that's kind of a given based on what you have or might have might have seen or have heard on you know on various sources but the music here it speaks for itself and in my opinion this is one of the best black metal releases coming in fall 2021 this is going to my personal collection because it's good one it's not a phenomenal one it's not groundbreaking and it's basically not creating anything new for the genre but it's good and that matters so definitely go check out agrum satanastikum and i think you won't be disappointed meanwhile Stay tuned for more Rauta stuff coming your way. This is out on September 24th, so already out by the time this video comes out. Take care, see you soon, bye bye.